Welcome back to the 61st Annual All-Native Basketball Tournament. We're here in the RG2, the Russell Gamble Gymnasium at the Jim's Coney Civic Centre. We have a matchup in the senior men's division. We've got the Heisler versus uh, Metlakal, Alaska. And i got Willis Parnell alongside me and Cliff Statman Morgan Willis with the play-by-play -play now. Yes, thank you, uh, Ryan. Here we go. Metlakal, great to see them back in the All-Native Basketball Tournament. Number one goes up. For Metlakatla, it's Brian Hayward. And he's their big man, and he's uh, look for him to be uh, pretty effective in the game right now. Wow, he looks like he's about 6'6 six, six or 6'7. Six, Here we go, nice. That's uh, Quinton going for three, just a little short on that one. 34, his brother, that's Jeremy. Swings it out, 23, Smith. A little bit long on that one. As Metlakatla gets the ball, 33, Bryant. Goes down, right side, goes crossover, goes oh, right in the middle. Oh, man. Left. Quick crossover between the actually between the legs crossover, cross and burn. Oh there you man! Metlakatla up four right away. As uh, we know, Kitimat they they never give up when they play. They play right till the end. Great to see them out here. Yep. Metlakatla again. Haven't seen them for years in the senior division. Uh, last time is probably the uh, masters division. Smith goes up, blocked by 14. That was uh, Guthrie. 22 with the putback, no good. No good. 14 Guthrie's the rebound. 33 Bryant going down court. Luke loses the handle, number 21, Unright. Jason Unright. Again, Metlakatla, Alaska. Kinemat, Smith. Goes right side, pulls up, no. Nine, outside, good fake inside, goes to... Dribbles off as well. Jeremy, nice uh, off his leg, out of bounds. Metlakatla. Again, and Metlakatla, only eight t uh, players in the oh tournament. Yes. They're hoping to get yeah. two more in the next couple days. I was talking to the coach earlier. Okay, okay. Uh, and that happens uh, in this tournament quite often as people come in later in the week. That's right. And I uh, hope they do because, like you say, you always have to start with eight. That's the minimum you need to. If oh, you, you need at least eight? Okay. You do. Uh, on your roster, obviously on your roster, eight, but they have ten and uh, you have to have, because actually uh, Keith Nice, Coach Nice, uh, he asked me if they had eight because they're only warmed up six guys. Oh, and yes. And I, I had yes, to ask yes, Coach yes. Blandoff where the uh, <laughs> other players were because they needed eight to start, right? And it looks like they're ch they're changing some of the numbers because they probably had some of the issues that we had because Quentin Nice is wearing number seven and he wore 35, I think, in uh, the white jerseys. Yes, so again, it's like we had a mix-up before and that's why, and we're only going by the rosters that were given to the score scoreboard uh, yes. people, so here we go. Folks, back in play. Jason Unright, mid AK. Hayward skips her way over to number 33. Bryant, left-handed, no good. Deep three. As nice Quinton gets it, brings it down. As uh, Kitimat needs to get on the board, they're down four love right now. Inside goes up strong, and looks like we have a three oh. in the key. They call that. Oh man, that was a quick three, and the guy was moving with the ball. That was a kind of weird call as uh, Smith. Yeah, just, you know, the thing is, refs also, they get tired, too. <laughs> maybe, maybe they're tired. It's so true. As Bryant gets it, 15 in the game now. That's for uh, Scudero. Goes up. Oh, big board, number yeah. 22 for yeah. Heisla. That's right. That's Windsor. Brad Windsor. Nice. Goes up quick. Oh. No good. And that's 33. Uh, Bryant way down as uh, Jeremy it takes it back. Good hustle on both sides on the block and the steal. There's not, uh, Quinton has the ball now, guarded by uh, Hayward. Number one, Brian Hayward. Skip pass Smith, inside to Nice. See this Jeremy matchup. going up right side, oh, good. Inside man. move there. Nice shake, a little spin, a little one-hand jumper. Oh, it's lovely. He's a solid player there, Jeremy. Big man inside, great moves, quick moves. 14 has it, guarded by Quinton Nice. On right, going to the right side, goes up. Give me a like charge. A, uh, it is. Great call there. I actually thought they were going to call a block because of the movement, but you cannot go right through someone right there, Ryan. Yeah, Quentin was, did a good job of getting his feet over, and he got there just in time. You're right, it was very close, but he did get there. Yes, uh, Smith brings it up for uh, Edmund, that is. The Heisla inside, right side, no good. On right with the rebound. As that was a missed shot by Jesse Smith. Going up on right. Right side just rolls off. Oh man, looked like it was gonna go for a second, but it just rolled off the edge. Didn't get the old shooter's roll, I say, or bounce or whatever it is. They're <laughs> quite nice. Smith had been looking at three. No passes inside. Oh. Uh, that's Jeremy. Everyone's falling as long as no one gets hurt. Quinton has it. Goes to his brother Jeremy inside. Backs in. Hayward's guarding him. 
Oh, get out of here. Swatted. Yes, that was Brian Hayward. It looks like that off Smith out of bounds. That's going to be Met AK ball. We have 3.30 gone as uh, Met Lacatla up 4-2. to two. Again, uh, what do you think of the tournament so far, Ryan? Oh, man. You know, All Native is just such a great time. It brings all the people together and gets to watch some amazing basketball. Yes, and prior to this game, we had uh, Kikatla, defending champ, senior division times two. And it looks like Hayward with the, the travel there, try to do the uh, good good uh, defensive play by Jeremy Nice there. And that's going to be a matchup I'm looking forward to right now. It looks like they've identified who the players are in the post, put Hayward on Nice, and and vice versa. So yeah. this is going to be good, a good matchup. Two big, big guys. Yeah. Yes. We'll see how that uh, materializes. Quinton brings it down there. Got it by Bryant. Goes outside, inside the three. Just a little bit strong on that. Hayward with the rebound. As Bryant goes down right side, passes it out on right. Breaks the baseline, no good. Saves uh, it. Chris Bryant uh, saving it. Uh, it isn't over the timeline for a violation. Outside three, a little bit strong on that one. Jeremy gets it. Again, Kinnemet down two, four, two. Bit of a slow start for both teams. It is, and it seems a little quiet in the gym, but I think once they start uh, filling up the basket, as a, oh, that was Jeremy, a little bit short on that one. There you go. Bryant going down left side. Passes into Hayward. Hayward off the board. No, a little bit short on that. Didn't even get above the rim. He almost did one of those wedgies. Yeah. <laughs> he got the ball in a tough uh, position there. And Nice was there with, with the body. So it was a tough shot. And Scudero skips it over to Bryant. Bryant goes right side. Passes it inside. Hayward reverse. No good. A little bit strong. As uh, Heisler has the ball. That's 22 Windsor. Hayward looking at his hand there. He might have got uh, whacked on the fingers. And there's a shot by Nice Jeremy. No, a little bit strong. Actually short. Bryant. Oh, he, he thinks he's in America. He can't call timeout on the court as uh, Bryant was looking for a timeout. Oh, and there he goes, Scudero. <laughs> it, it's all confused because the, so player we're can't playing call FIBA. Timeout? No, we're playing oh, FIBA. FIBA rules. We're not yes, playing yes, American. Yes, American yes, can, yes. In the uh, United States, you can call it. The, oh, Hayward <laughs> with the big hands. Good steal off Jeremy's pass. Hayward going down, goes in the middle. Looks like he might be traveling there. They got away with it. 14 goes up. That's uh, oh, man. Guthrie. A little bit short. Good hustle. Guthrie's going to shoot another three. Way outside oh, and makes them man. pay. That looks smooth. I remember watching all the Alaska teams play. They can sure shoot. Oh, right? man. That just looked really smooth from here. Yep. And here we go, uh, Quinton. That's number nine. That's Smith. Jesse Smith. The Heisla. Jeremy. Quinton Nice. And in the game is number 11, Amos, Brett Amos. Nice. Jeremy, a little bit short. He hits front rim and goes, and looks like we're going to have a reach over on 33, Bryant, Chris Bryant, as uh, Metlakatl AK up 9-2. to two. Six gone in the first quarter, folks. And looks like we're going to have a timeout now for uh, Metlakatl, Alaska. And this seniors game is brought to you on radio and on video by the Heisler Nation Council. We'll be back after these messages. Heisla Nation Council is very proud of the hard work and dedication from all Heisla players in the 61st annual All-Native Basketball Tournament. A special thanks to the coaches and managers who have given their time and energy, best wishes and safe travels to the Heisla Senior Women, Heisla Intermediates, Heisla Seniors, and the Heisla Masters Team. Heisla Nation Council would also like to wish safe travels to all those traveling to Prince Rupert to cheer on their teams. Good luck and have fun. Yes, welcome back, everyone. Willis Pernell, I'm here with Ryan Frank. We're uh, senior men's division. We got Metlakatla, Alaska. They're up nine to two over Heisla. Here we go, and we're in the Russell Gamble Gymnasium. And Hayward, a little bit short. He's been a little bit short coming into the game, shooting it short and shooting it over. Yeah, trying to do the reverse layup there, and it's both times he's missed it, trying yeah. it. Into the game now, we have the Mets. Mets, Dan Mets into the game. 41 goes, tries to pass it. He should have shot it. He's yeah. wide open there. Yeah. Trying to pass to uh, Amos. And here's Scudero going down, swings it out. Bryant, 13 in the game. That's uh, um, Marsden Jr. Yeah, Danny. Danny. Danny Marsden Jr. Way outside Scudero. Oh, wow. Man. 
Big shot. Wonder, I imagine that's Jerry Scudero's uh, son. It could be, yeah. but he just scorched the net on that shot. Man, I remember Jerry Scudero. He's a big man that could play really inside, really soft touch, but obviously his son, if it is his son, I think it is. Great. He's made a couple of threes, but oh. hit his club up by 12 to 2. Good right. hustle by Heisler. As Dan Metz goes uh, for Windsor. Quinton got it by two eyes and shoots it. Oh, just oh rolls Brett out. Amos is the offensive board. Great. As he goes base, oh, oh trying to go in, and Scudero's right there with hand. the quick hands. Scudero going down right side, goes to the middle now, crossover, swing pass. Bryant way outside, left hander, and oh, he makes no man. mistake on that one. I think we're going to have a timeout, Heisla. And with that, this senior's game is brought to you on radio and video by the Heisla Nation Council. We'll be back after these messages. Heisla Nation Council is very proud of the hard work and dedication from all Heisla players in the 61st annual All-Native Basketball Tournament. A special thanks to the coaches and managers who have given their time and energy, best wishes and safe travels to the Heisla Senior Women, Heisla Intermediates, Heisla Seniors, and the Heisla Masters Team. Heisla Nation Council would also like to wish safe travels to all those traveling to Prince Rupert to cheer on their teams. Good luck and have fun. Welcome back to the Russell Gamble Gymnasium. I'm Ryan Frank the Tank alongside Willis Parnell, who is taking care of your play-by-play. -play. Willis, take Edmund. it away. Thank you, Ryan. Edmund Fist goes into Quentin Nice. Goes down, guarded by Bryant. Goes inside. Good hands by Scudero. He's been all over the court, getting steals, hitting threes. And Matt LaCalle, yeah. Alaska, has started pretty uh, pretty good this game. They've got 15 points, and Heisel only has two. Oh, in our direction, yeah. I thought it went off uh, Scudero, but now they're... They're going to talk, right? I think you're right. Yeah, it's because I thought they said blue. No, they're going to give it to Metlakatla. Yeah, in the front court. And the ref's telling them front court because you can't go in the back, uh, right? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Again, from Alaska, they're trying to call a timeout while while they had the ball in play. Skidero has it, goes down right side, guarded by nice skip pass. Way over, 13 Deep outside. No, wow, man. that was Marsden Jr. Danny, that is. Again, he hit another deep three. Wow, they it was just like a 9-2. Now it's 18. As uh, Heisla, they need to get, get a couple baskets in. Quinton's going to try his three. A little bit strong there. And, and foul on, uh, on Nice. I believe that's all. Number 15 fouled Nice, Jeremy. Yes. Are we going to go? No, it's on the end line. I thought it was going to be free throws. Metz, Stan has it. Nice at the top, guarded by Bryant. Swings it over to Smith. Edmund going up at the junction, no good. Nice Great pass, pass into Jeremy. Goes left hand, makes wow. good on that one. Beautiful bounce pass from uh, Edmund Smith to Jeremy. Nice. That says Matt Lacat there. Enright goes down, skips it over to the right. Way outside again, number 13. No good on that one, Marsden Jr. Man, he's just feeling it out there. Yeah, it's, it's, when you have the weapons like that and you stand outside the arc, oh. you got to be aware of that. And if, if they fake, obviously they might drive to the basket, so you got to be on your toes or big time. really much on your defense, right? Big time, big time. It's, yeah. uh, the thing is, though, once you start hitting, then you get out there and then they just pump fake you and drive by you too, right? That's right. And, oh. uh, Can't win. Yeah. <laughs> Glenn Blandoff Jr. in the game for Metlakatla. As he's uh, guarding uh, 23, Jason, uh, Edmund Smith, pardon me. Also in the game is number 11, uh, Amos, Brett Amos. Also in the game for Dar Darnell Woods for uh, Heisla. Uh, Jeremy Nice, way outside. Oh, there Nick's, we go. Man, that you say, we know uh, Heisla can shoot that. That was NBN. Yeah. Jeremy makes his, uh, puts his squad up uh, just under 11 now. Brian, good uh, spin there, left-handed. He's got a nice, smooth left-handed shot. Way down deep. Oh, Quentin Nice, oh, oh, a little no. bit strong on that. He was so wide open. They needed those shots to go, too. That was a good, good effort by Smith there. Don't Is leave him. Blandoff Jr., Bryant, guarded by Woods. There's Scudero outside. Is he going to hit another one, Brian? It, uh, Ryan? The old man, man. It's money. It hit some rim there. It's still Not got just it. net, and uh, like you say, I mean, now they're up by 15. 
Jeremy brings it down, guarded by Scudero. Smith guarded by, actually that's uh, Blandoff Jr. Inside, tries to go inside to, but uh, Scudero steals it, steals it, goes down the middle. Brian pulls up outside the three, a little bit short on that. Big on right, by yeah, nice. Jeremy Nice. And the foul call there on. Jeremy Nice, the big fella, I think that might be on uh, Blandoff Jr. or else Scudero. I think it was on Scudero. Looks like he went uh, like that to 15. Okay, thank you there, Ryan. Here you go, Edmund Smith coming down for Heiza. Guarded by Blandoff. I'm not sure what their Might referee. be a timeout, or they're having problems with the names and numbers as well. Again, on the score sheet. Or maybe the uh, maybe the score itself. But uh, so far, effort by uh, Metlakatla. They're doing well. They're hitting threes. I'm not sure what they're talking about. Two or something? A lot of funny things going on in the game. <laughs> yeah, I don't so know far. what's happening here. Now there's 12. Might have been the foul call they were trying to clarify even. The clock. Oh, they're looking at the clock. It's all wonky. It's 12 seconds. Was there only 12 seconds in the quarter? I thought there was a little bit more than that. But even the shot clock shouldn't matter because it's it's at 13 seconds. So oh, oh now we have bonus. Yes, bonus. Oh, okay. oh gee whiz. <laughs> after all that, <laughs> after all that, it's a bonus call. Oh, my yeah. goodness. So right now the score clock says five uh, fouls for Metlakatla and zero for Heisla. That's interesting. Heisla playing the clean game. They just need to hit a couple baskets as uh, Jeremy gets a good on that free throw. Good steal there for Heisla. They need it. Jesse Smith. Jeremy Nice, way outside three. Oh, oh just rattles. Yeah. Doesn't go as Bryant brings it down. To good ball handle goes down. On right, left side pulls up. Just on the wing and oh, makes good, good on that. The buzzer. That was Jason On right as the buzzer goes. And there we go. After one, we have 25 for Metlakatla and eight for Heisla. And with that, the seniors game is brought to you on radio and on video by the Heisla Nation Council. We'll be back with second quarter action after this. Heisla Nation Council is very proud of the hard work and dedication from all Heisla players in the 61st annual All-Native Basketball Tournament. A special thanks to the coaches and managers who have given their time and energy, best wishes and safe travels to the Heisla Senior Women, Heisla Intermediates, Heisla Seniors, and the Heisla Masters Team. Heisla Nation Council would also like to wish safe travels to all those traveling to Prince Rupert to cheer on their teams. Good luck and have fun. Bye. Welcome back to the Russell Gamble Gymnasium at the Jim Sconey Civic Center here in beautiful Prince Super British Columbia, Canada. I am Ryan Frank the Tank alongside Willis Parnell. We have Seniors Division action where the highs of the Braves are taking on Metlakatla, Alaska. Willis Parnell with your play-by-play. -play. Yes, thank you, Ryan. Smith inside to Jeremy Nice. He's going to try his effort there. Spin, goes base, goes off the board. A little bit strong on that one. Oh, good tip nice there by tip. Einreich. Yeah. Go passes over. Enright gets it good. He passes the 13 down court. Marsden Jr. gets it back for a lay-in. Great team play there. 19-point lead now for Metlakatla. Nice goes down. Swings it over to nine. That is Smith. Jesse Smith. And we have Edmund Smith in the game also. He's 23. As Scudero brings it down against Jesse Smith. Goes. Swings it out. Going in the middle. Number 14 goes up. Marsden Jr. No good, good. That's Scudero with a good offensive, offensive rebound. Over, yeah. Pulls up outside three. Oh, man. Off front rim there. And great. Uh, oh, heads up pass. Wonderful weight down to Jeremy. Isn't that a goal, Tiny, when you uh, hit the backboard like that? Yeah, it's. It, it, I think if it missed, they would have had to call it because it shakes the backboard for sure. Because I've seen the, in the earlier games, the refs weren't calling that. So. Uh, they, or maybe they need to give a warning. Andre pulls up, baseline makes oh, no mistake. Wow. That was a nice arc, too, pretty high. That's Metlakatla, 29-10 now. Number two, Woods. That's Darnell. Goes. No. That's uh, Blandoff Jr. for rebound. Scudero brings it up. That's Metlakatla in control right now. We've got 8.40 to go in the second quarter. Senior men's division action. 61st annual all native basketball tournament. Your nation, your station, CFNR. Here we are inside. Metlakatla swings it out. On right. Good hands. Pulls up at the junction. 
A little bit strong on that one as Smith gets the rebound. Heisen needs a couple of baskets as they're down by 19. You just got one thing about uh, Kidham at uh, Heisler there, Ryan. They always go. They never give up. They work hard right to the end. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And great move there by Jeremy. Nice crossover goes into the. He's going to get a couple of free throws as Marsden Jr. with the personal. Yeah, nice move by Nice. He doesn't really hesitate when he gets the ball that close to the hoop. He makes one move and then goes. He has one of those big guys that has a really nice spin. Yeah. You know, one of those yeah. tight spins, and uh, he's right-handed, but he's very versatile with his left also as he makes good on that free throw. He does the quick shot from the free throw. He <laughs> just catch and shoot right away. <laughs> you do have 10 seconds, but some people have their rhythm and routine, I guess, working for him on right. Goes inside. Nice pass. That's a tough shot. Whoa, that was a turnaround there. That was, uh, pardon me, I've been calling 14 uh, Martin Jr. He's 13. That was uh, Clifton Guthrie. My apologies for that. Edmund Smith outside three. He's going to try his luck. No good. A little bit strong on that one. 13, that's uh, Marsden Jr., 13. And again, 14 is Guthrie. And Scudero's going to try his shot outside. Oh, oh wow, halfway in, and it came out. Too much English on that, I guess they'd say. Quentin Nice in the game again. Jeremy, he's going to try a shot. No, nope. oh, he nice. shakes and bakes, goes up right in the middle. Great oh, drive, no man. good, though. Just shakes off, goes way down to Scudero. Scudero for the pass. A little bit strong. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit strong after his, off his teammate out of bounds as we get some subs into the game as uh, Metlakatla 29 12 for Heisla. Yeah, you called uh, Jeremy Nice with a shake and bake there, but just couldn't finish it off there with some gravy, you know? Yeah, just a little bit shy on the finger roll, as you said, say. And uh, I think he's going to take a break. Maybe he's a little winded, maybe. Oh, we'll yeah. see. Dan Metz is in the game. Quinton has the ball now. Swings it over to Dan Metz. Jesse Smith pulls up at the free throw line. A little bit strong back iron. Quinton Nice, great offense rebound. Dan Metz, he can hit the three. I think his foot was on the line. Jesse oh. Smith with a good offensive rebound as Hayward was there. Brian goes out of bounds. He got the block. Yeah, nice block there. Goes out of bounds off of him. So it'll be Heisla ball at the end. Again, good hustle on both ends by Heisla. Getting a couple of stops. They just need to knock down a couple of baskets. Quinton is going to try his luck outside. No, he's faking a bacon. Brian just about steals it. As Amos hits it, number 11 goes up to the best. Oh! Good right hand. Good. Oh! <laughs> Brett Amos. Great English. There oh, you go. Huh? Beautiful. I just unscooped <laughs> that up, and it's a nice spin. It just climbed the backboard and in. Wonderful eyes on that. It found the bottom of the net. As highs only down by 15 now, 29 14. As the Hayward goes up right hand, he's not able to buy one close yet. No, hard. Too hard off the backboard there. Maybe start trying start, start to dunk it, maybe. Yes. Is where Amos trying to go in against Hayward. Good pass inside, but no, it goes to Bryant. Bryant goes down middle. Smith trying to go on in. 32 goes up. Oh. Blandoff. That was good uh, heads up pass by Bryant to Blandoff layup left side. Yeah, nice finish too. He had uh, Mets on there on him. Yeah. Oh, a oh and Bryant just about seals it as he does. I don't think they can call it over and back because the ball was still in the backcourt. Scudero uh -huh. shakes and bakes, crossover, and oh. just a little back iron on the three. Hayward with the rebound. Second chance. Oh, oh Scudero, good ribbon. Oh, he tries to go with the old, one of those old It'll lift up <laughs> yeah, dribbles. Yes, yes, you know, yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. like, I guess that goes into the Eurostep kind of deal, huh? It kind of does. You're right, exactly. I, I, Because uh, you bounce that ball down, those guys are trying to swipe at it. So you do a little high bounce over top of it. <laughs> it's pretty, uh, pretty right. effective, actually, if you can get, get uh, good at it. And crafty as Quentin Nice has it. Trying to look for Dan Metz. No, number two, 20. Brad Windsor, left side. Goes oh, on Hayward, take, uh, Pryden, that's Bryant. Goes left side, takes up. Some finger roll, no there. good. No yes, call. referee's letting the play there. Again, that was Chris Bryant trying for Metlakatla as Quentin Nice brings it down for Heisla. Five to go, folks. Second quarter action. Senior men's as Metlakatla, Alaska. Great to see him back in the only basketball tournament 2020 here in the Russell Gamble up. Oh. Dan Metz as uh, Onright, Jason Onright with the personal. Yeah, nice move by Metz there. Uh, nice little jab step and then spin, goes up, draws a contact. Yes, as he's going to try his efforts at the line as they need a couple more points. They're down by 17 against this uh, senior men's Metlakatla team as they, they've hit a few threes and our stat man Cliff Morgan will let us know as we do a recap at half, which is five minutes away. Yeah, 31-14, Metlakatla up. See if it can be 31-15. Yeah, Stan Metz good on one of two from the free throw line. 
Well, one of two is better than nothing. Yo, 50 man. is better than zero, and that's what I always say. Get one. <laughs> As Einreich goes down, tries his effort at three. A little bit short on that one. Almost a wedgie. You ever shot and wedgied the ball between the backboard? I mean, the rim and the glass. Have I've you ever done given a before. wedgie? Is that what you said? No, no. Basketball <laughs> wedgie. And, oh, hits the backboard. Okay. <laughs> and there's Dan Metz on the right side. Makes good on that one. Good pass from Clinton. Nice. Good assist there. Chris Bryant brings it down. There's Matakai up by 14. Bryant crossover. Pulls up left high, left in the middle, and goes off the board and in. I always, I always find it very challenging to guard someone that was left-handed. Yes. Right? Yeah. Keeper's left-handed, I know it that. Is, yeah. It is left-handed. And yeah. you know it is because you're looking to swat or block or defend even on a on the right hand, and everything's the opposite, right? Yes, and with that, Danny Marsden's coming in the game, and Blandoff Jr., good minutes for his squad as he takes a break, and... Chris Bryant shakes and bakes, pulls up left side. I'm not sure if there's no signal. I think that was just a two. I didn't see any I didn't see the indication. arms in the air. So it's probably just a two. Usually arms up mean three. Quinton Qu nice. Quinton looked Windsor. A, little, a little soft on the defense. Windsor goes to the junction and steals by Guthrie. Fast break. Fast break. Oh, oh my God. Chris Bryant, I'm not sure if he was trying to dunk it. Uh, Looks like he changed his mind <laughs> yeah. right through there. <laughs> Pretty close. Anyways, he missed it. If Dan Metz has it, goes to the junction guarded by Hayward. There's Amos. On right. Good pass inside to Windsor. Windsor goes reverse. Oh. Makes no mistake on that as uh, Marsden Jr. couldn't keep up to Windsor. Yeah, he lost his check there. Back door and cut and he got the pass. Three, goal, three to go in the first, uh, second quarter. As Hayward goes up right side, a little bit short. Man, he hasn't he, really. He can't find that touch from close in. Eh? He's too hard off the, the backboard every time. No, he's uh, struggling right now. As uh, Quentin Nice swings it over to Jesse Smith. Amos, Brett Amos, guarded by Hayward. Dan Metz is going to pull it up from the junction, and it rolls in and out. Dan Metz, good minutes off the board, off the, off the bench, pardon me. And Chris Bryant way outside, just front front iron. Mets with the offense. Defensive rebound as they come down as Heisland. They're down by 16, three to go. Senior men's division action. Quinton Nice, way outside, a little oh, bit strong. Man. Good hustle there by it's, uh, Smith. Jesse Smith, no good. On right with the ball. And Heisler are definitely struggling right now. I'm not sure if they're looking a little tired or what it is, or they just can't get enough on their shots. And another big three right there. Yes, and that was uh, 14. Clifton Guthrie with a three. A little quiet in the gym here is um, Elikatla. I'm not sure how many fans they have, but uh, they're up by 19. 19 right now. Dan Metz, Windsor, got it by 13. Marsden Jr. Jesse Smith, left junction, a little bit strong. Again, nothing really uh, going down for Heisla at this time. Yeah, it's pretty low scoring for them in a half. 19 Chris points. Bryant goes to the basket and foul there by uh, Quinton Nice as uh, Bryant is going to go to the line for a possible two. Just a reminder, the seniors games brought to you on the radio and on video by the Heisla Nation Council. We'll be back after these quick messages. Heisla Nation Council is very proud of the hard work and dedication from all Heisla players in the 61st annual All-Native Basketball Tournament. A special thanks to the coaches and managers who have given their time and energy, best wishes and safe travels to the Heisla Senior Women, Heisla Intermediates, Heisla Seniors, and the Heisla Masters Team. Heisla Nation Council would also like to wish safe travels to all those traveling to Prince Rupert to cheer on their teams. Good luck and have fun.
Welcome back, basketball fans. Here we are, Russell Gamble Gymnasium, Metlakatla, Alaska. Chris Bryant just made two free throws over away. His club is up 40 to 19 over Heisla. As we had coming down this end, just when we came back there, Jeremy Nice had a great spin, just a little bit short on his shot. Yeah. And I believe there we have a foul, and uh, we have 148 to go in the second quarter. Update here, Masters final, Heidelberg 82 over Kitimat 65. Wow, good, uh, good effort there. I was watching some of the game prior to that uh, good clean basketball there. As uh, Jeremy Nice goes inside, goes up, right side, and oh, makes the Oh, man. Great touch on that. Right right or left, he can go. He was good on that. The prior one, he wasn't. As uh, 13, Marsden Jr. has the ball. Guthrie on right, way outside, goes into Hayward inside. Going to Bryant. Bryant's going baseline, goes over. And stepped on the end line, or is it a foul? No, it's a foul. Yeah, I think they're calling a foul on 34 for the push. Might have been Jeremy Nice with the push. Second foul. Yeah. And with that, I just want to give a quick shout out to my family. Uh, my sister, uh, Kim and uh, Taya, Mary, my nieces there in uh, Seattle, and my mom's in Anchorage uh, listening to us on CFNR. Really appreciate them, miss them, and love them as Heisla comes down as they have 21 40 to oh. Catla and Was it on Hayward, I think. <laughs> Is it both of them or just Hayward? Yep. Oh, block one. Yeah, black one just holding. Again, that's a big matchup, huh? Big, strong yes. young fellas there. And we know Jeremy Nice, he's solid. And then Oh, and now Hayward's going to have to take a seat. I'm not sure how many fouls that is on him. Yeah. More stat man. That's three. Your stat man, Cliff oh, Morgan. Oh, was it three? Yeah, so it definitely with a uh, minute left. He probably has more fouls than points because we haven't seen him really hit a basket from two yes, teams. been really yes. short. Maybe yes. just out of sorts today. We'll see. But his team's obviously taking up all the slack. Landoff Jr. with oh, three deep. Oh, man. Yes. Can you imagine if Hayward did get going and start scoring too, man? Man, they'd be way up as they're up by 22 now, folks. Eyes at 21. And it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy is down one knee and he flipped it up, just don't made it. There's a foul. And he wasn't even looking. Yeah. yeah. That and, was crazy. And that's uh, number 13, Danny Marsden Jr. with a personal. As uh, Nice goes over to Jeremy. Jeremy guarded by 13. That's uh, Marsden Jr. Oh, Goes nice the other save. Side. Good save and nice way outside top. Way above the top of the key. I'm not sure what's... I think there was a reset on the shot clock for some... Or maybe not. Something happened. Yeah, it's the shot clock. Uh, kind of a strange half going on here <laughs> with the scoreboard <laughs> and the refs and the score clock, scorekeepers. Yeah, it seems just a, like a lull at times, right? It seems I swear uh, if they go to a bonus situation now after all that, I'll be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, 30 to go as Smith pulls up baseline, uh, hits oh, a little short, gets, gets his own rebound. Oh, there we go. Bryant with the rebound, but Smith's right there as he re carries the uh, deflection. As uh, Heisler down by 20, folks. 18 to go. Second quarter action. Senior men's. Should be the last shot of the half here. As the uh, shot clock's turned off. On right, going to the ba basket, right side, goes oh, up, foul. spins it. Yes, that's Quinton Nice with the uh, on the arm. And I think there's going to be a uh, count it. Possible one more for On right. Jason On right is 7.4 to go, and that's three oh, on man. Quinton Nice. Yeah, they're just a little bit off right now, the highs. The, they just can't get shots to go. And even on defense, it seems they'll be a little bit out of sorts, too. It's, let's see if it's going to be the tail of two halves. You never know, Willis. You never know. And weird things happen as Einright misses that one. Again, there's a lot of ball left. There's 20 minutes of second half. Good passing. Nice. Windsor goes up. And oh. he makes good on that one at the buzzer. No there's no foul. Either. Wow, I thought that was an end one. That was. Uh, but again, it's uh, 45 for Met and 25 for Heisler at the half. All right, and with that, this Seniors game is brought to you on radio and on video by the Heisler Nation Council. We'll be back with your second, uh, with the first half stats right after this quick message. Gymnasium, I'm Ryan Frank the Tank alongside Willis Parnell. It's time for the halftime cliff notes brought to you by Shearwater Marina and Resort. Now we have a senior uh, uh, division uh, game going on right now between the Heisler Braves and Metlakatla, Alaska. And the first half was just a very slow half for uh, for uh, the Kitimat team. Very difficult for them to get going. They had 14 points from Jerry Nice. Uh, he had uh, three of four from the free throw line for 75%. Four of nine from the two points. 
and one of four from three points for a total of 38% from the field goal uh, for field goal percentage. Three rebounds, one steal, and two turnovers, and one altered shot. Now, that's, the rest of the team is really struggling right now for Kidaman. Next to us for high scorer is Brad Windsor with four points, followed by Dan Metz with three, Brett Amos and Edmund Smith each with two points. So it's been a struggle for the entire uh, highs of the team, except for Jeremy Nice. So let's see if the team can pick up, uh, pick up the slack here and help uh, Jeremy in the second half. Uh, they have five bench points and 14 points in the paint. Now let's check out Matt Lacatla, Alaska. Now they have much more balanced scoring. They've got 11 points from Chris Bryant, and they also have uh, 10 from Jason Onright. Now if, uh, let's check out Chris Bryant's stat lines. Two of two from the free throw line, three of five from the two-point uh, area, and one from three from the three-point area for a total for 50% shooting from the field. Now check out uh, Jason Onright. He's five of seven from two points and uh, zero for one for uh, three points for a total of 63% from the field. That's still pretty good, 63%. Uh, then you have six points uh, from Jason Scudero or Jace Scudero, uh, five from Glenn Blandoff Jr. Uh, let's go four, no, three for Dan, uh, Danny Marsden and Brian Hayward with two. Uh, Scudero already had him on there. So, you know, it's uh, they're pretty balanced scoring from them. And the one thing we talked about was their big guy, uh, Willis. He cannot score. That's Brian Hayward. He's only got two points. But he's been getting the ball so close to the, to the net. Maybe he might pick it up in the second half. You never know. So they have eight bench points, eight points in the paint, and three points off turnover. So that'll do it for our halftime. Cliff notes, Kidamat is down 45 to 25, 20 points in the first half in the senior men's division. I'm Ryan Frank the Tank. This is Willis Parnell. We'll be back with your second half action after these messages. Join us week night. Welcome back to the Russell Gamble Gymnasium. I'm Ryan Frank the Tank alongside Willis Parnell and Cliff the Stat Man Morgan. As you uh, heard our uh, Cliff Notes at the halftime there brought to you by Shearwater Marina and Resort. Now we're back for second half action with uh, Senior Men's Division. Metlakatl, Alaska up 45 to 25 over the highs of the Braves. Willis Parnell coming up with your play-by-play. -play. Willis? Yes, thank you, Ryan. And we're back as uh, at halftime we had... One clock had no numbers on it. And now we're all back and sorting. The referee's sitting down like he's subbing in. Yeah. <laughs> it's really interesting. And the ref was certain by yourself. Oh, the man. The ref. Uh, again, just a reminder, this game here, uh, the winner of this will go on and play Thursday at 1 p.m. versus the team, the defending champs, Kit, Kit Catla, oh. who just uh, beat Bella Bella earlier. And uh, that'll be a great matchup. We'll see what if Heisel can come back as going down in the middle. Oh. No roll on that one. That was uh, number 14. For uh, that was Guthrie for Metlakatla, Alaska. As Heisler comes down, they need a few baskets. Big skip pass there, Jesse. Jesse Smith, no good. Quinton Nice goes up a little strong on that one. Yeah, you know, he's uh, he has struggled. I don't think he has a point in this game. So let's see if he can get his first points in the third quarter with these free throws. Yes, and we'll see in another. We haven't seen uh, in the first half. We didn't see number 12, Franklin Hayward. He's in the game for Metlakatla. Okay, okay. Another tall there you young go. guy. As uh, makes good on that one. That was uh, Quentin. Quentin Nice. He makes uh, now 20, 26 for Heisla. Go inside to Brian Hayward. Brian Hayward goes in the middle right side, and he oh, makes good on that oh, one. Oh, there we go. We were seeing him at halftime there shooting threes. Wonder if he was going to step outside, but no, he's going to post up still. Yeah, the big fella, big square shoulders, makes good on that one right in the middle. It goes off Quentin Nice. There's Matt McCatlin up by 21, folks. Heisen needs a couple baskets, a couple stops. Jeremy, he can do it. Goes against Hayward. Flicking around, and Hayward gets the ball. Goes up. Skip passes. Got three. Got three outside. He's going to pull up from the three. A little bit short on that one. Uh, that must have been a mistake on the shot clock there. Shouldn't have been a... It actually saw, I saw 30 on there rather than 24, so something's going on with that. Hayward gets the ball, comes down. They might need to smudge that score clock after. Yeah, I think so, because it's kind of <laughs> goofing <Something's> around. <laughs> it's not the refs, it's a clock. But, oh, yeah, we got a goal uh, game on here. As Guthrie makes good on the baseline shot. Good pass from Hayward. Hayward's playing. Oh, big guy. Tough going pass. inside, yes. Going into nice, nice, uh, good hustles. How did he get that Smith. ball out of there? That was that, unbelievable. Uh, Jeremy, nice to scramble, and he, like, caught it and flicked it out as he was hitting the floor. It was a pretty amazing play. It was very good, and uh, that was uh, Edmund Smith with a three. 
for Heisler as they're down 20. They got to chip away at this. A lot of time. We're in only the third quarter. Scudero at Chase. As Franklin pulls up, little short Guthley with uh, with the rebound, and he tries to go inside. Yeah. <laughs> you thought Franklin was going to keep going, but he stopped at the free throw line. Turnover. Jeremy Nice skips it over to Quinton. Quinton on the side, goes up, pulls outside the three. They need that. Oh, and boom. Again, maybe, like you say, game of two sides. And, yes, you uh, have. Yes, maybe, yes. Maybe uh, Heisler will get all hot as they're, they're doing it as Smith pulls up for three. And Good that, defense there. That was double team. Good uh, contest. And Jeremy gets it, goes down right side. Number 11, Amos, is, is going to lose. No, oh, he doesn't lose control. Good he still job has it. letting it go there. Skip it over. Is he going to do it again? Edmund? No, he's going to go in. Jesse Smith at Shorts. the top. Yeah, that looked a little short there. Yeah, I, when I did that, I used to be like windy in the gym, but uh, I wouldn't say that to him. Maybe he just didn't use enough legs, not enough uh, extension on his arm. Matt Lacatla, 17-17 uh, to go in the third quarter. Matt Lacatla, well, everyone's going to shoot outside the three now. A little bit short on that one as uh, Smith gets the ball. That was uh, 13. Marsden Jr. short on that three. Edmund Smith gets it, goes on baseline. Jesse Smith quit nice at the top, guarded by Marsden Jr. Jeremy oh. way outside, he faked it, but he's <laughs> Brian Hayward. And he pulls up inside, goes off the board a little bit strong on that one. Man, I thought he was going to take that three. That was a deep one. That was huge. as three, four feet out. And Jeremy, nice, good D on Marsden Jr. Way outside, got three. And that's oh. a little short. That was like four or five feet behind the top of the key, behind the three there. That was a long range. There's no fear from these shooters. They'll shoot from anywhere. Uh, is that how you feel when you play, yeah. Ryan? Yeah, when I'm inside the key. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jeremy, good spin. Goes goes around Hayward, goes up. And that's good spin by Jeremy Nice. He's going to have possible two as Hayward. That's uh, Brian with the personal. So he, Metz is going to check in as well as uh, Hayward. Four fouls. Yes, on Brian Hayward. Uh, he's coming out as uh, Chris Bryan coming into the game. Landoff Jr. also going to come in the game. I think he might be taking out uh, Guthrie. You know, and with a short bench, Willis, this could be this could be in Hazel's favor here. They might start going on a run here without. I mean, Hayward's not scoring, but he is playing defense. He's a big guy in the key, and that changes shots too, right? Yeah, big presence, right? But now he's on the bench, uh, warming up that part of the court, <laughs> which we all don't want to do, but sometimes we do. And Jeremy. He's making good on his free throws as he makes that one. And he has the second one to come, folks. We've got 622 third quarter, senior men's division action. Again, winner of this is going to go and play Kit Katla Thursday at 1 p.m. So a lot of hard work for Heisla as they're down by 15. 15 Scudero. points for nice. Here we go. Oh, and Scudero dribbles it off his foot. Kind of reminds me of his dad, Jerry, <laughs> just hopping around really quick, you know. Big presence. He's talking to Cliff Morgan. He's telling us a story when they won in 82 over uh, Metlakatla, Alaska, and it's always great to hear our teammates getting championships as Brian Hayward, Franklin, pardon me, rebound. Chris uh, Bryan comes down. Franklin Hayward goes up, pulls up, and I think, whoa, they call it a offensive foul there. What? Oh, yeah, with no. With a charge, and he pulls up and hits a nice shot just above the, uh, the arc there. But like I say, that's good for Heisla. Good D. As they need to chip away again. They're only down 15, folks. They were down 20 a minute ago. Wow, don't uh, don't go away. I mean, we're just talking about it again. I mean, short bench for Matt Lakatla, and they're starting to get a bit of foul trouble, so we'll see what happens. That's right, and here we go, Amos. Over to Woods, Darnell Woods. He's back in the game. Amos skips it over. That's Jeremy on the wing. Woods, Darnell down close. Low, guarded by Scudero, goes out of bounds. Heisler ball with 11 to go on the shot clock. Again, like, you never, you always keep hustling, and I know, we know Kitimat always does that. Yeah. As Quit Nice has it, guarded by Brian. Nice outside, a little bit strong on that one. Franklin Harry, big rebound. Chris Bryant goes down left side. Go, oh, good shake and bake. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, oh that looked like, oh, kind of like a mini Euro stuff. He covered a lot yeah. of space. Nice scoop with the left hand. Nice yeah. English off the backboard and in. Sweet play there. He goes through, goes around a couple guys. 
up Jeremy, and under. Up and under. Yeah, he's looking for the foul. The referee's right there looking right back at him. He says, no, nothing. Well, you got a double team there, too. I was able to get away from yeah. him and still get a shot off. Scudero on the baseline, guarded by Darnell Woods. Goes it. Bryant. It's uh, Marsden Jr. Oh, and he's good. That's a big three. The good ball movement on the wing. Yes. They didn't definitely. go inside at all, just around the perimeter of the three, and they just you know, like that. Twenty point lead again, Willis. It's just it's amazing. Gamer runs, they say. You know, Heisen needs to get a couple. Dan Metz, is he gonna start it with a three outside? No, a little bit strong. Blandoff Jr., big rebound. Chris Bryant going down left side. Goes inside. Blandoff. Bounce pass. Wow. Good, good hands by oh, Blandoff Jr. and uh, Chris, uh, Chris Bryant with a sweet bounce oh, pass. Man. Really nice. Nice point guard. Big solid point guard. Looks yeah, like he's no like 6'3 or something. He's doing a great job. Left handed. Nice guarded by Marzen Jr. Goes nice going to the bait. Goes up. No, a lot of body there. Wow, wow. Looking at the ref. No call. Yeah, we're watching it here. We see a lot of body. Scudero pulls up at the right junction. No good. Little strong. I don't and know. That's pretty surprising. I thought there was a lot of contact there. Yeah, Brett Amos goes, goes off. Uh, Good hustle there by uh, Ben Blandoff Jr. And we're going to get some subs in the game. As Windsor is going to come in, that's uh, Brad Windsor. Just a reminder, this senior game is brought to you on the radio and video by the Heisla Nation Council. With four to go, folks. Metla Catla. They're up by uh, 18. Another big three. That was, uh, that was Marsden Jr., way outside as he puts his squad up 59-34 now it's 25 and Heisler need to, need to get a couple of stops here play oh, tougher, tougher D outside the arc Dan Metz goes up Franklin Hayward with a big block huge block on Metz get that out of here long arms yeah. so see what he does he's going to pull up the three he does and he's a little short on that Metz Dan Metz with a good rebound there on yep. Blandoff yeah he tipped it over to Jeremy so smart play Jeremy, nice going down. So who gets the rebound there? Does Jeremy get the rebound there, or does... Uh, okay. I think it's the guy that tips it. Blandoff Jr. goes up, and looks like he has grabbed, and Quinton Nice is going, well, it wasn't me. So it's who gets control, right, Cliff? Who gets control of the ball, gets the rebound? Or who tipped it? Yeah, so it's with... The tip, yeah, okay, that is, you're right. Well, it's the tip. The tip. So a lot of that rebound will go to, uh, to Dan Metz. And that was Quinton Nice for his fourth personal as Blandoff Jr. goes to the line. Makes no mistake. Blandoff Jr. is a nice player. It's great to see him playing with his hometown of Metlakatla, Alaska. I know I've seen him play with the, I think, the Prince Rupert team. Oh, I yes. Okay, that's playing. why I was wondering where I've seen him before. Yep. And it's always good if you can go home and play with your own squad. But like you say, Metlakatla, Alaska hasn't been here for many, many years. years. So it's awesome for him and also his dad, who's the coach right now, Glenn Blandoff Jr. Blandoff Nine points for him, two of three from the free throw line. Makes it in that. Oh, no. Sleeping, Standing around. Yeah, sleeping on the defensive end. There's Met as uh, Jesse Smith gets a nice, easy layup. Great pass there by, I think it was Dan Metz. Way outside, that was Marzen Jr., no good. Feet all tangled up there. Not going to know foul. Smith and Scudero. Woods pulls up right side and that's Marzen Jr. with a good block. Landoff in the middle going coast to coast. Is he going to go up right side? Oh man. Yeah, he tries to from his hip, but it does not get the roll. Last second he tried to throw that up there. That was uh, pretty amazing. Almost went too. Yes, and here we go. That's uh, Jeremy Nice, big fella, point guard now. Now he's backing in. Great move. Goes yeah, up. There and draws the contact. Yes, and he's going to. Good uh, hustle there. He's going to go to the line for a possible 2 221, folks. Just a reminder the seniors' game is brought to you on radio and video by Heisler Nation Council. We'll be back after these messages. Heisler Nation Council is very proud of the hard work and dedication from all Heisler players in the 61st annual All Native Basketball Tournament. A special thanks to the coaches and managers who have given their time and energy, best wishes, and safe travels to the Heisler Senior Women, Heisler Intermediates, Heisler Seniors, and the Heisler Masters team. Heisler Nation Council would also like to wish safe travels to all those traveling to Prince Rupert to cheer on their teams. Good luck and have fun. against Metlakatla, Alaska. 
And Great. you feel like they need to start making a run here, Willis. I mean, it is third quarter still, lots of time, but they want to get this to a closer game before the fourth quarter. Yes, right now they're down 23. If they can get it down to maybe 15. Yeah. In about minute 52, which is left in the third, as he could be doing it. Edmund Smith's out oh, there. There you go. Oh, good start right We're, there. I think we warmed them up uh, <laughs> spiritually. They, they got to get a stop here as Edmund makes a good good on that three. Inside going to Scudero. Is he going to go oh, up strong? Get, yeah. Oh, nice move. Yeah, good move against uh, Brad Windsor there. And uh, couldn't stop the big Scudero boy going inside. Edmund Smith, is he going to look for three? No, he's going to go and go outside Windsor. Baseline goes to Smith at the top at the free throw line, and he gets the nice friendly roll. They needed that, and like you say, we need, they can get it down to 15. We have a buck 14 to go in the third quarter. Make a good run. 20's a 20 point lead right now. Tough shot. Yes, and Chris Bryant, a little short on that one. Front rim. Edmund goes way down. Good pass into great position by Jeremy Nice. Again, okay. that's a big fella inside. You, you got to work hard against him. 18-point lead. And there you go. We, we set about 15. Let's see what Heiser can do. Marsden Jr. Franklin Hayward. Way inside. Landoff Jr. Scudero. Deep three. Front rim. Jesse Smith goes down. 38 to go, folks. Third quarter. Heiser yep. needs this to go down. Be only down by 15. We okay. talked about that number. Let's see what they can do. Dan Metz inside. Goes up. Oh. Oh, he doesn't get the roll against the big uh, Brian, uh, Franklin Hayward. Well, they'll still get a two for one here, so they'll still get the, the ball back with a couple seconds left to shoot. Yeah. Matt Lacala will use up all the shot clock here. Let's see what they do. It's Chris Bryant has the ball. Shaking Watch over and back. Oh. Almost shaking it around. Scudero is going to go. He's going to skip it out. Marsden Jr. outside three. Oh, man. Man, they, that's deadly. Move the ball around with that. That's three quarters gone in this matchup as uh, Matt Lacatla 66 45 for Heisla. And this senior's game is brought to you on radio and video by the Heisla Nation Council. We'll be back with fourth quarter action after this. Heisla Nation Council is very proud of the hard work and dedication from all Heisla players in the 61st annual All-Native Basketball Tournament. A special thanks to the coaches and managers who have given their time and energy, best wishes and safe travels to the Heisla Senior Women, Heisla Intermediates, Heisla Seniors, and the Heisla Masters Team. Heisla Nation Council would also like to wish safe travels to all those traveling to Prince Rupert to cheer on their teams. Good luck and have fun. Back to the Russell Gamble Gymnasium. We're in the senior men's division. We're going to the Heisler Braves versus the Metlakal Alaska team. Willis Parnell with your play-by-play. -play. Yes, thank you, Ryan. Here, Windsor going over to Jeremy Nice. He's played a lot of minutes in this game. Doing great for his team. They just need a couple more stops as they're down by uh, 19. Goes deep. Oh, oh yes, the alley-oop. Wowzers. I didn't oh. expect that. I just thought there was going to be off the glass, but the alley-oop there, Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant with the alley-oop oh. dunk, man. Oh, From man. Blend off. And I think we might have a foul there by a good hustle by Bo Scudero and Smith, Edmund Smith, and I think there might be a hold by Edmund Smith there. Oh, oh they're going to go with Scudero on that. It's okay, so weird. Okay, they're both right. going after the ball. <laughs> I'm still shocked by the alley of dunk, man. <laughs> I was just out of nowhere. I was crazy. That was awesome because actually, like I said, I thought he was just going to gather it, it go off the board, right? Yeah. But no, that was uh, awesome. And he held on just so he didn't fall yes. awkward, right? Yes, yes. Which you're allowed to if you're able to dunk. I, I never, ever experienced that because I, I, I can't jump. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 9.21 to go. Me neither, man. <laughs> Maybe shoot the odd three. But I'm part of the low flyer club. That's likewise, too. <laughs> yep. East and west for me. No vertical. Yeah. Quinton Nice goes up Whoa, a little bit strong on that one. Blandoff Jr. Franklin Hayward going down. Chris Bryant pulls up outside the three, and he oh, makes no mistake man. on that one. Chris Bryant, he can shoot the ball. He can dunk the ball, too, as he just got that alley. 26 points. Yeah. Lead right now. Yeah, and then Chris Bryant with the uh, block there. 
Yeah. Quinton, Quinton, if you got the follow. Or no, there might be a legal block maybe. I thought, and Chris was putting his hand up too, right? It's because he reached out and held him. I mean, it was a clear foul. I, I don't know. Uh, maybe uh, Nice was moving on the screen, I guess, a little bit more. You got to pick one of them, I guess. Yeah. Uh, anyways, Franklin Hayward, no good on that three. He was like four feet out behind the arc. Scudero with the reach. Yeah, and he puts his hand up this time. Yeah, yeah but sometimes that doesn't matter, right? It's so true because his, <laughs> his uh, teammate Chris put his hand up and then it was on the highs of oh, player. Man. It's interesting as we have 8.46 to go, folks. 40, uh, 45 for Heisland, 71 for... 26-point lead. And here we go, inbound, quick and nice. Jeremy, his brother, big fella, gathering a lot of men. Great there you go. give and go. Jeremy, good cut to the basket, easy hoop. Again, uh, Metlakatla, they're up by a whole bunch right yeah. now. But again, Heisel, they got to chip away, goes inside, going to Guthrie, Guthrie. They still got some time here. They just got to get up on the D here, shut them down, and start scoring. Let's go. That's right. And then there's good hustle by Jeremy and actually uh, goes to Edmund Smith in inbound, 8.26 to go. Heisel needs a couple of baskets. Here we go. That's uh, Quinton outside, a little bit short on that one. Good hustle by Windsor. No, it goes to uh, Scudero. Chris Bryan with a good Guthrie. D there. Scudero. And a good passing there as uh, Scudero finds Blandoff going in the middle. Easy two and break right down the pipe. Way outside Jeremy. No, he's guarded by Frank, uh, Franklin. Good hustle going to the basket. I think there's going to be a personal there. Yeah, that's going to be on uh, Franklin Hayward. That's going to be number 12. And we got Jeremy Nice. He's played a lot of minutes. I don't think he's rested the whole game. You know what? That's a good call. I don't think I've seen him sub all once. No, well, big fella. I don't think he can. They, their bench is, they got a good bench. They got uh, five guys. They're waiting for a couple hours to show up. But That's uh, 22 points now for uh, Jeremy Nice. Yeah, he's solid for his squad. Good effort playing against uh, Chris Bryant. Guthrie, good spin. Pulls up. Wing. Fade away. No, no good. Bryant, oh, Scudero man. gets it, takes it away from the Smith. Smith, Jesse Smith gets a rebound. Jeremy Nice has the ball. As highs us down by, uh, is that 24? Is Quinton guarded by Chris Bryant? Good spin. Chris oh, Bryant with the steal. Hand. Let's see the two big guys. Franklin Hayward. Easy layup. In. Yes, because Jeremy was there. He didn't want anyone to <laughs> yeah. dunk on his house. So he's made sure he's good hustle. Obviously, he plays tough D, that Jeremy. Nice. And again, Jeremy still playing hard right through to the end. Oh, man. Pull up the three and just off on his shot there. Just a little bit left off iron. Landoff comes down. Seven to go, folks. As Metlakatla is up by uh, 26. Way outside. Oh, That's Scudero. Jeez. That's Jace Scudero. Scudero, Deep. how many is that for him? That's 11 points for him. And that was like way out. The, there's a red line way beyond the three-point line. That's a long ways. Foul 14, I think is on 14. Yeah, that's going to be. With that, we're going to have some subs. Yeah, Brett Amos coming in and Hayward's coming back in as well. He's got four fouls. Windsor. Loses it. Gets a steal. Bryant gets it. Hayward. Four flowers coming in. Bryant, that is. As uh, Chris Bryant's taking a break. And that's oh, a good shot. That Landoff Jr. Way outside. Shooting the three. They're shooting. All those guys can shoot. 32-point lead now. I mean, it's, uh, it's going to be pretty tough to come back. 6.30 left in the game. Yeah, big uh, big hill to climb for Heisler. But he's... Quinton, is he going to get the roll? No. Jeremy oh, there with a nice tip. tip back. Nice put back there by Jeremy. Yeah. Big fella gets a tip as Franklin Hayward brings it on. Between the legs, crossover. Wow, big guy's got, and he's fading away. Just misses it. But Brian Hayward going up a little bit strong on that one. He's still chuckling at himself. Wow, I can't hit the <laughs> footer. Man, yeah. You know, and he's definitely struggled from close to the hoop. Nice yes. pass. That's Brett Amos with the ball, guarded by Scudero. Quinton Nice, they need to shoot a three. You need to get a couple of baskets. A little bit strong on that one back iron. Guthrie gets a rebound. Matt Lakatla as they're up 30. Brian Hayward going up, spins, <laughs> reverse. It gets it off the backboard. Quinton Nice. And I think that's uh, 
I'm not sure who that foul was on. Might have been Quentin Nice. That's his fourth personal. As we have Brian Hayward going to the basket, folks. Ba free throw line is uh, trying to convert the three-point play as he went reverse on that one. He actually made a close two-footer, but he missed the free throw. <laughs> oh, Guthrie with the steal. Oh, oh, Takes it away oh, from Jesse Smith. And that Guthrie little uh, crafted little, hey, man, don't call the cops. I'll just take the ball anyways. You know, I'm going to put it in. And oh, great hustle. Nice. Yeah, against the big Brian Hayward. Good battle with them guys. Wow, how did he even get that shot off? That, that was, was unbelievable. Great spins, Scudero. Yes, 20, shot three. 26 for Jeremy now. Oh, Jeremy. Good hustle there. Brian Hayward's guarding him. Good battle inside. Amos, Dan Metz, left side. A little bit short. Good hustle by Heisla as uh, Amos gets it. Brett Amos. Oh, oh, there's a kickball. There's referees right there not calling it. Dan Metz is going to go outside the three. They need a couple of baskets. Jesse Smith pull it upside the three. A little short on that one. Is it going to go out of bounds? No, the ball's going. Scudero gets it, carries it down. Right side. He's going to probably pull up. Yes, he does. <laughs> Good call. A little bit strong on that one. Oh, Guthrie. Oh, again. Guthrie's a little fella against Jeremy Nice. Yeah, he's looking at the ref. He's like, blow the whistle. I'm fouling him. Ba battling for the ball, but great sportsmanship is, you know, just hard work, right? Yeah, definitely hard work there. As and like, out rebounding Jeremy Nice, that's a task. Yeah, and as Met Catley is up by 85-53. Uh, just a reminder, this senior game is brought to you on the radio and video by Heisel Nation Council as we got Jeremy Quinton Nice with the steal. Yeah. Oh! Nice! <laughs> it looked what like he had that? a lot. There's a Quinton Nice, and that looked like a NBA move. That looked like a few steps, but anyway, it's two hey, points. Got the head, they got the player off. Yes. On the feet. Brian Hayward goes up. Good. Quinton Nice with good defensive effort there as he blocks uh, Hayward. And uh, Brett Amos. Quentin Nice need to get a couple baskets down by 30. Jeremy, we know he's going to shoot. Ah, a little short on that one. Landoff Jr. Four minutes to go, folks. This uh, senior division action. The winner to go and play Kekatla Thursday at 1 p.m. And it kind of looks like Metla Katla right now as they're up by 30. Brian Hayward goes a little bit strong. Tries to go for the ball. Still can't buy a two, four, or three footer. Yeah, struggling uh, from yeah. close in the hoop. Yeah, it's just. One of those days, but his squad's up. Everyone else is hitting threes, and Quentin Nice tried that. No good on that one, Marsden Jr. Defensive rebound. Way down, goes to Onright. Wow. Good hands, good oh, give and man. go. Good give and go from Onright to Guthrie. Just rolls off. Metz gets it way down court to Woods. Woods skips it over back to Dan Metz. Dan Metz at the top, guarded by Guthrie. Good between the legs. Don't want Guthrie to steal it from you. He no stole it Smith before. Good hustle by Quentin Nice as he's down the baseline. Dan Metz goes up high. Great arc on that one. A little bit short as Marjan Jr. gets it. 30 they're up by. Matt LaCatla swings it over right in front of us. Guthrie's going to make the three, and he gets the friendly roll. Nope, that was a two. The ref said he is on the line. And people are they're trying to call a timeout again on uh, the court. Well, the <laughs> Matt LaCatla. Well, what, how come their coach doesn't call for them? Then? I don't know. Do they even and, know? And Glenn plays in... Canada a lot. He's lived here for many years and that's there, a little bit short. Time out there. Now we're going to call a timeout there. Okay, right. with that, this Seniors game is brought to you on the radio and on video by the Heisler Nation Council. We'll be back after these messages. Heisla Nation Council is very proud of the hard work and dedication from all Heisla players in the 61st annual All-Native Basketball Tournament. A special thanks to the coaches and managers who have given their time and energy, best wishes and safe travels to the Heisla Senior Women, Heisla Intermediates, Heisla Seniors, and the Heisla Masters Team. Heisla Nation Council would also like to wish safe travels to all those traveling to Prince Rupert to cheer on their teams. Good luck and have fun. Welcome back, everyone. Here we are, Willis Pernell, Ryan Frank. Uh, we're in the uh, 
Russell Gamble, Jim Agee, 61st signing all in basketball tournament. Brian Hayward goes up, oh, and he makes good on that one. 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 Yeah, here we are. Your nation, your station, CFNR. Again, uh, it was great to bring you action in the uh, Russell Gamble Gymnasium, this uh, Jim Zaccone Civic Center. Awesome venue where we got the best seat in the house, folks. And, uh, yep. Again, one more time, great to see Metlakatla, Alaska back as uh, Brian Hayward can go. He's a little bit strong on that one. They got 90-55 for uh, Heisla. Heisla, tough battle today. They couldn't buy any hoops, really. They really didn't hit much early. And uh, Matt Cattler hitting everywhere, threes yeah. and inside, except Brian Hayward, who's only hit a couple little ones, yeah, but yeah. his teammates have uh, shared the load for sure. Definitely, and that's the one thing Jeremy Nice has been uh, playing and scoring, like, all game. It's just his team has just needed to, to pick it up. They've had a bit of an off day. Yeah, that's for sure, but like you say, they're not out uh, their next game after losing this. They're going to go down to the... Uh, Jay, they're going to go Thursday at 4 p.m. We don't know who it is against because uh, we just need to find out. There's a couple games before that. But again, the uh, looks like Metlake Atla is going to go and play Kit Catla Thursday at 1 p.m. Mark that ball. one on your calendar. That'll be a good game. That'll be a battle. That's probably going to be on our venue and our menu for the games. And uh, looks like Heiser's putting in some players as 16. Uh, Mitch Woods is getting in the game. Again, the game is pretty much over 35. Uh, Lead by Metlakat, Alaska, 155 to go. Guthrie, is he going to shoot? No, he's going to go on Hayward. Guthrie outside, right in front of us. Front iron, bounces over the other side. Windsor gets the ball. Time wrapping down there, folks. Metlakat, Alaska, they're pretty strong today. They had some great shooting. Isla just couldn't hit the basket. As Woods goes, the basket goes up and he oh, makes it count. Oh, that's a hoop and hard. Yeah, Marzen Jr. at the personal. The Seniors Game is brought to you on radio and video by Hazel Nation Council. We'll be back after these messages. Heisla Nation Council is very proud of the hard work and dedication from all Heisla players in the 61st Annual All-Native Basketball Tournament. A special thanks to the coaches and managers who have given their time and energy, best wishes and safe travels to the Heisla Senior Women, Heisla Intermediates, Heisla Seniors, and the Heisla Masters Team. Heisla Nation Council would also like to wish safe travels to all those traveling to Prince Rupert to cheer on their teams. Good luck and have fun. <laughs> I don't know. You think he was late waiting for the foul? I thought he was, yeah, but there was no call. I mean, it's late in the game here. <laughs> That's true as they're up 90 to 57 over Heisler. Oh, so Dad. Guthrie trying to steal it, go behind his back. No, not this time there. Guthrie, Met says, and that goes off. Matt yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's uh, Mitch Woods in the game. Like you say, good to get him in the game. Dan Metz, that's Darnell Woods. Is he going to pull up the three? No, he's going to pass it. Give and go from Windsor, no. No, Landoff guy has him. There it is, Mitch Woods outside, oh. just off front iron. No, Darnell. Oh, tips that, it up. Yeah, that's going to count 45 to go in the game. It's the ball, and it's uh, Windsor, Brad Windsor with this good steal. Dan Metz is going to go down for Heiser. Time running down, folks. Metz for the three, and he oh, makes man. good on the three. Yeah, needed some of these a bit earlier, I guess, oh, eh? Oh, man, they, they just couldn't hit a basket. You know, hit front rim, roll yeah. in, roll out kind of deal. Time winding down, folks, as a 28 lead. Guthrie spins, right hand, pulls up, and it's good. Nice little player there, uh, Guthrie. That's Clifton Guthrie for Metlakat, Alaska, doing a great job today. As that's uh, Woods, number 11, uh, Brett Woods, pardon me, uh, Brett Amos, my apologies. Marsden Jr. is going to run it out. We only have eight left in the game as uh, it's going to be a 30-point differential yeah, yeah. as Metlakatla, Alaska over Heisler. And again, uh, uh, just not a tough game for Heisler as uh, they couldn't hit shoot, but uh, Metlakatla was uh, all over it today. All right, this Seniors game is brought to you on radio and on video by the Heisler Nation Council. Stay tuned as we're going to have the uh, post-game cliff notes brought to you by Shearwater Marina and Resort after these messages. Heisler.
Welcome back to the Russell Gamble Gymnasium. We just finished watching a senior men's game between the uh, Heisler Braves and the Metlakal Alaska team. It was back after many years and they won this game 92 to 62. Now let's check out the post game cliff notes brought to you by Shearwater Marina and Resort. Uh, for Metlakal Alaska, it was a story of balanced scoring. Uh, we had 18 points from Chris Bryant. 14 points each from Clifton Guthrie and Glenn Bland Blandoff Jr., followed by 12 from Danny Marsden, uh, 11 from Jay Scudero, and 10 from Jason Onright. Like, that is just, what is that? One, two, three, four, five players. Five players in double digits. That's so, I mean, that's pretty effective. Balance. Yes, that's great balance. Eight by Brian Hayward. Uh, two from Franklin Hayward as well. That's 28 bench points, 20 points in the paint, uh, four fast break points, and 10 points off turnovers. And they did all that scoring by shooting 47% from the field. <laughs> so, that uh, you know, that's not too bad. It could be a bit better, but they still scored 89 points off of that. So that's a lot of attempts, obviously. Now for Kitimat. This was an off game for their team, yes. ex except for one player, Jeremy Nice, who had a heck of a game. Uh, he scored 26 points on 9 of 10 from the free throw line, 7 of 17 from 2 points, and 1 of 6 from the 3 point line uh, for 35% shooting overall. As a team, they, they shot 32%, uh, so that's a bit of a difference right there. Maybe the story of the game is just the rest of the team couldn't chip in. Uh, they had eight points from Quentin Nice uh, and also from Edmund Smith at eight, and then six points from Dan Metz, uh, four points each for Darnell Woods, Jesse Smith, and Brad Windsor, and two for Brett Amos in the end. Uh, 12 points from the bench, 24 points in the paint, four fast break points, and three points off turnovers. Uh, again, that's a tough game for, for most of Heisler, except for Jeremy Nice. And I think the story of the game was for Matt Lacala was they had short numbers, but Willis, they had balanced scoring. That's so true. And like you say, I mean, you had uh, Scudero, he's shooting from everywhere, and all yeah. their other guys, you know, Marsden Jr. and so forth. But I just want to get a shout out to uh, Jeremy Nice. I, I think we played the whole game, and he played yes, solid for his squad. That's, that's a great call. You know, and uh, like you say, I mean, he's both ends of the court, offensive end, defensive end, and just just a really nice gentleman. Very good sportsmanship, of course, and of yes. course, maybe next game. And again, they're not out. They play Thursday at uh, 4 p.m. We're not sure who they play against, but like you say, it'll be a great matchup. Kick at Lament Lacatla Thursday at 1 p.m. All right, that's Willis Parnell. I'm Ryan Frank to Tank. That's going to do it for the post-game cliff notes brought to you by Shearwater Marina and Resort. And that's going to do it for us for this senior men's game. Uh, I believe there's going to be another game here uh, later tonight. So stay tuned for that and look for it on cfnrfm.ca. For uh, Willis Parnell, Ryan Frank, and Cliff Morgan, we'll see you guys next time.